I just watched an incredible valuetainment episode, and it's got me excited to talk with you. Let's go. Patrick Bet Davis of Valuetainment is absolutely incredible. It's so powerful to listen to him. He gives you a lot of great stories about his life, his past, and how he's grown. He's been running the Valuetainment channel for over four or five years. And today, he released a powerful episode called Not All Change is Good. And I was excited to listen to it. I hadn't heard his podcast in a while. And he talks about his son having a bit of trouble in school at six years old and being very creative. And then he takes a moment to reflect on his own life. And at that moment, uh, oh, so many memories uh, hit me hard. At, at six, I was diagnosed with ADHD. And for all of my life, I've been incredibly curious. It's never stopped. Uh, I've always wanted to know more and move further. And that has also caused a lot of problems. You can only ask so many questions before most people will get irritated with you. Not everyone's interested in finding every answer. I think that's an entrepreneurial, I think that is the entrepreneurial spirit at its core, looking for answers. Everything is a question. And most of my life has been fairly difficult pushing through it. Uh, but I also know that that creativity is what is so powerful and so unleashing in that entrepreneur spirit. And when I hear Pat talk about his youth where he just had so many questions for his teachers and every year I went to school, I never ever stopped having questions. Just however, as I got older, my grades depleted. My questions had nothing to do with what I was being educated on, which is good because I don't remember anything they taught me nor have I ever really needed it in my day-to-day -day life. Uh, it was a bunch of just memorization and nothing was really use useful or utilitarian. And now at the age of 33, I'm feeling so many emotions and so much pressure uh, for what I'm trying to achieve as well as what is next. And it's exciting. I'm not the only one out there feeling this way or living this life. And it's, it's very difficult because everything seems a little hard or wrong, but nothing that's not really the case. You just have to make your own right and work hard at it. You know, I, I know my mission is just to help people make their lives easier. For me, my internal struggle ha has made my life appear very difficult and seem very difficult at times. Very, very simple mundane tasks are an absolute struggle. I can't explain to you how hard it is to just pay monthly bills. To stop and do that has caused me more life troubles than most people would probably be able to appreciate. But on that flip side, my mind is always running, connecting new ideas, building new concepts, trying to find easier ways to execute on ideas and share them. And <laughs> that's very exciting as well as very scary. That, that task has to be, uh, you know, you have to get paid to play. I want to achieve a lot of things. I want to have a successful life. And my primary talent is giving information at high levels. So... I'm grateful that you guys joined me. I want you to go check out Valuetainment. I watched a five minute episode and then for the next th two hours I was just on autoplay hearing such powerful advice and good inspiration on where to move forward. I'm really grateful that I watched this episode today. It's going to make a big difference for me over the next couple of days and I hope it does the same for you. Go down to the links, click the video, proceed to watch as many videos as you can on his channel. You're only going to learn stuff. But if you don't take action, it doesn't work. So, thank you guys. I can't wait to talk to Patrick. I think our minds would have a lot to say to each other, and I'm excited for that opportunity. But until then, I want you to keep working on yourselves, keep striving, keep your intentions good, and let's go.